Hey guys, welcome back to Bronson's Math Club. Today we'll be learning about the metric measurements, okay? So in the US, the metric measurements are used. However, mostly you will hear about the customary measurement system. However, the metric measurements are also very important. Now here is the table of the basic uh, metric measurements that you'll use. Now, just from looking at this first glance, this may seem like the most confusing thing in the world, like with all the letters and symbols and everything. That is why you should always use an acronym, okay? So, in order to remember the metric measurements, the acronym, which is kind of really kind of funny, but anyways, so it is King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. Okay, so King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. Now the U in the middle, this stands for unit, okay? So the units, the three main units that you use in the metric measurements are meter, which is for length, okay? And then you have gram, which is for mass or weight. And then you have a liter, which is for volume, and this is for use for liquids like you know you'll hear a liter of water okay so these are the three units now the rest of these letters they stand for something so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now so this K stands for kilo and in my chart you can see that one kilo is equal to 1000 so kilo means 1000 and the symbol is K and here's an example. So to the right of my chart are all the examples and to the left are what they mean and what their symbol is. So one kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. Okay, so here we're using our unit. So kilometer. Okay, so the next one that we have is our H and this, wait, let me kind of move my arrow down a more bit. Okay. All right, so we have the hecto the hecto is stands for 100 and it, the symbol is H and I guess one way you can remember this hecto and 100 start with both an H so hecto means 100 and an example is a hectogram is equal to 100 grams okay so now our D now there's two D's the first one I mean I guess you could change it around but this is just I guess the way you should go so that you don't confuse yourself so next one, according to this, is DECA. Now DECA is spelled two ways. Either it's going to be D-E-C-A or D-E-K-A. So it really doesn't matter. You know, you can choose. I'm going to go ahead and say D-E-C-A. But if you see if it says D-E-K-A, then it's the same thing, okay? And then DECA means um, 10. So the symbol is D-A. And so an example could be one DECA meter is equal to 10 meters, okay? And then the next D... This one stands for deci, and now we get into our fractions. So deci means one-tenth, okay? So deca, ten, deci, one-tenth. So that means point one, okay? And this, this symbol is just D, so deca is D-A, and then deci is D. And so an example could be a deciliter is equal to one-tenth one of a liter, or point one. Okay, next one, our C. This is one that you should have heard of, centi. And my example is centimeter, which you see on your ruler. So if you go ahead and take a look at your ruler, you will have centimeters and in inches. So one centimeter is equal to one hundredth of a meter. So if you have a meter stick and you cut it into a hundred parts, and one of those parts is equal to a centimeter, okay? So I guess a centimeter is really small. You can, you know, guess that. Okay, so a millimeter is our last one. Or, you know, it could be milligram or milliliter, but, you know, the most often used one is millimeter. And that is equal to 1,000. So, milli is the smallest unit here in the metric measurement system. So, an example is one millimeter, which is most commonly used, as I said. 1,000. So, one millimeter equals one thousandth of a meter. So, now I just gave an example. If you have a meter stick and you cut it into 100 parts, that's one of those parts is a centimeter, right? But if you have a meter stick and you cut it into 1,000 parts, then that one of those parts is going to be millimeter. That means um, 10 millimeters has to equal one centimeter, right? Okay. So, that's like, oh, one second. I need to write milli here. So, that's all there is 
two, remembering the metric measurement system. So you can also use this chart. So, you know, whenever you need to refer to this, you can go ahead and take a look at this chart. And also the acronym, King Henry doesn't usually drink chocolate milk. And also, if you take a look at this now, since each of these, we know what each of these mean, we can now make different, like more metric measurements. So now rather than just having kilometer, it could also have kilogram, kiloliter, since we know that kilo means 1,000, if we have kilometer, it means 1,000 meters, kilogram, 1,000 grams, kiloliter, 1,000 liters, okay? And then same goes for the rest of them. So hectometer, decagram, deciliter, you know, you can make different combinations. Now, usually, we usually see kilo, um, centi, and milli, and like deci and deca and hecto are the three ones that we usually don't see. So these are the ones that we aren't really familiar with. So that's where like I would spend more time like studying these because we know like, you know, in usual mathematics, normal normally we'll see like kilometer or millimeter, centimeter, of course, we see it on rulers. So, and you know, these three, hecto, deca, and deci, are the ones you should spend more time with if you need extra um, practice. And so that's all there is for this video. And I hope you guys learned the metric measurements. And remember, use this acronym. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.